Good morning, folks. So it's getting into the time of year where it's, I always struggle to get these videos done. Um, not that I don't wanna let you guys know what I'm up to, but it's just so much going on. It's so rushed, there's 50 things on my list and I feel like I don't have time to do anything other than just try to chalk them things off and taking time to get my camera out um, while I'm doing it. Um, is not always the first thing on my list. So I apologize for that, but it's just the reality of this time of year and not having a uh, you know, whole crew helping me. It's just me and my me and my family. So, um, but anyway, first thing this morning, we, uh, here's my irrigation pump I'm hooking up. I'll get back to that in a minute, but right now I gotta hook my line coming across the pond up so we can uh, water this uh, here. But um, this morning we, we got up and got strawberries picked for the stand. My two oldest had to go to work, so we were a little shorthanded, so we had to hustle at that a little bit. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, and then my wife discovered, well, she discovered yesterday, but she confirmed it this morning, there was a, a bluebird. There's four bluebird um, babies that were in our nest right out behind our house. And the female bluebird, something happened to her. We think it was a sparrow, or no, not sorry, a starling. I got to mix up. There's a starling that attacked the nest yesterday and we think she might he, uh, they might have killed the mom so after they weren't fed all afternoon yesterday and the evening my wife was watching real close and the, the dad actually abandoned the nest this morning as well he's already calling another mate so she's trying to we had to run to pet smart uh she is not going to let them die without helping so had to run them to, or run to pet smart grass and live mealworms to try and see if she could salvage them. She was actually getting them to eat. So that'll be interesting to see if she can save them. But um, but now I'm, uh, my water mounds that are out across the road here. Um, I'm here at my pump with my, or my pond with my pumps here. Uh, one of them goes, one pump I have usually running up to the top field and the other pump, if I have them both running, is usually servicing the bottom field. And uh, I have uh, my water mounds there. I was hoping to get a little rain yesterday um, but we, we got a very little bit, but not enough to matter. Um, and our next rain is going to be Monday. And these were planted on, the last planting was planted on Monday. And they're not dying or anything like that. But they're at the point where they're going to start stressing if I don't get them some water till Monday. So I decided to get water hooked up over there, run it to the couple rows I planted. And then also to the cantaloupes, which are up top. I'll get those this afternoon. Um, actually, I probably I'll get these going then I'll see if I can get them going from this other pump actually I think I decided I decided to get both pumps running today. So That's what I'm doing here. I'm just sort of temporarily going to set this up I'm not nothing permanent here. I got a lot of planning to do yet and I don't like to get all my headlines in my way Until um, I'm mostly done. So I'm sort of just temporarily uh, Rigging it up that it that it's gonna work and get these guys some water um, And also my flower patch I can hook it run at the same time um, try to take care of that this morning and then I got uh, my rye field which is actually you can't see it it's up over the hill here I got to get that knocked down <clears throat> I want to do that the last two days uh, it's pretty dead um, and I want to get that knocked down before the wind blows it its own direction I want to tell it which way to go so we're gonna roll that in, in one direction the way I want it to be and uh, this afternoon we'll try to get on that so a lot to do today um, just uh, yeah got to keep moving here so here I have, there's an irrigation line that actually runs through the pond and comes out the other side of the pond. Just went the direct route there. It goes under the road through a pipe um, and over to my sand filter on the other side there. And then I can go to the left field or to the right field from there. Um, so I'm gonna have to hook these up. I'm gonna flush these lines, get rid of anything that happened to try to make a home in it over the winter here. Um, and uh, we're gonna flush this out, make sure it's clean water coming out my far end, and then we'll hook up the lines there at the water mount. Okay, so I got my pump running. Um, what I'm doing here is flushing this filter. Um, yeah, just getting any junk out of the line, any, you know, if a mouse made a nest in the line or whatever, um, any, anything that's in line, I wanna get that sort of blown out. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna shut this and, and let the water run through and I'm gonna let it run out the other end of the hose before I hook it up over there. So this guy here in the middle is my injector. I did a video on this the other year, but I'll probably do another one once we get running. Um, 
I, where I apply my fertilizer in the top there and I can run it through my system and right into my main line and feed a whole acre, two acres at a time or whatever I'm doing. So right now we're just gonna have that water running straight through and continue, continue on. So open this guy up and we're gonna go there closes that and that pushes the water right through there now okay we'll go check the other end all right we're hopping down here to the other side um you can see the water starting to come out of the other end there already so that's good once it's nice and clean and coming out of there you can see it's pretty dirty some mud and dirt coming out of there from just what old welder sitting there over winter and just whatever it's just nice to blow that out and get it clean so looks pretty decent. I'm gonna go shut the pump down and then we're gonna hook that end here, run a line. Like I said, I only have what, 10 rows here? No, I guess it's like 14 rows. So um, uh, we're gonna hook these guys up <clears throat> and then we'll turn it back on and uh, get, let these guys get some water this afternoon. And then my flower patches from the other side of those trees um, over by the sand field where we were. And I have a line running that way too and I I think I can run both these at the same time. The flowers don't take much. Um, and this is downhill, so I should be able to accomplish both these at once at this point. I got a little baby deer in here. I was pulling out my hose, trying to trying to get my hose out that I need for, for running this guy. And I'm not quite sure where he was at. I don't know if he was over here. I don't know, but he's just a little guy. He, he's only five, 10 feet, five, uh, six feet from me here. and. Uh, Oh, he's gonna go back in just a little guy oh man uh cute little guy so i just backed off that pressure a little bit um i'm running two acres on this right now which um is a decent chunk for that little pump um if i was going uphill to the upper field i'd be very happy if i was getting two acres but i can always be a little more efficient going to this bottom field because it's slightly downhill and it's all i got gravity helping me and uh i can probably do almost three acres if i have it going full throttle so with uh two acres on here i don't have a restrictor on this line right now um so basically i can i can actually blow my lines out i can't have more than 21 pounds of pressure on them lines before they'll blow a hole in them somewhere which that just uh it's not a I mean, if it's a big hole, it's a problem, but um, it just finds my weak spots, basically, and makes a bigger hole than it should be. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm gonna check my pressure here now. I have a gauge on there. I don't know if it works anymore. I'll check and see if it's working, and I'll go to the other end and see if my lines are tied, but it seems like they are because my pressure's high. So if they weren't, I probably wouldn't have as good a pressure, so I'll check them. I'm just running out here to the far end to check my lines, but watermelons are, uh, getting a nice color to them and they're starting to get some leaves on them there they're actually it it may not look like there's much going on here but we're we're just about well we're three weeks monday will be three weeks from the first four rows there uh these guys here <clears throat> were about a week a week or 10 days after them um but what that means to me is they're going to start i would almost say by by monday or tuesday i would expect to see these guys shooting runners and what that means is i got to get between these rows and kill any weeds i see um because once they start running um I, once they start running they're going to leave the plastic and then it's very hard to maintain the weed control so um it may not look like i should be hurrying but that's the biggest mistake and the biggest thing i learned growing watermelons is when you start seeing them you know start expanding like this they're getting ready to explode, especially with this heat. And I'm, I'm running water today and I'm gonna run a little fertilizer today. They're gonna jump over the weekend here. And I think we're getting rain again on Monday. So my plan is Tuesday to be out here uh, with my little mini sprayer between the rows and just burn off anything that's there so that these guys can cover over and we can have a nice clean patch. Yeah, just uh, getting a little closer look here. So you can just see all the I don't know how well you can see that with my shadow there but anyway you can see all the little green grass and different things coming here you know not a big deal now if i let them go they'll take over the patch and i won't hardly have any watermelons so but yeah these guys are a little bit thirsty we're getting them some water here today and they'll accept that and uh 
take off. There's a couple missing ones in here I see. Um, not quite sure if the deer are getting them or what's happening there. Um, but I think we have enough in here that they'll take over and cover up, I believe. So for some reason, this first planting seems a little weak compared to the ones I stuck in later. I'm not sure if that's variety. It's possible. I'm not as familiar with this with this early or sweet dawn. Um, it is possible that this is not as much of a vigorous variety and a, any stress, you know, take them out like this little guy's look a little weak there. You know, he may he may recover yet. We're getting him some water and everything and um, some spots here may be drier than others and it's time to get them water. They had a, a good rain about five days ago, but it's time to get them some water. I missed the rain yesterday. I was hoping for it. So I decided, well, this morning I got to get this done. So skip some other things and get this done first. So anyways, I got to get out here. M Monday's Memorial Day. I don't know that I'll be doing it that day unless I find that I need to. But uh, I'm going to try for Tuesday to get out here and get these uh, rows cleaned up. And by then, I'll try to get some footage of that. But these guys ought to be definitely noticeably different even in that short time from what I'm seeing here. All right, so this is why I come out and check. I think all these rows are tied, but this one isn't. So we missed one. So no reason to run water out the other end. Um, if I ignored that, obviously, uh, that row would suffer. Um, my pressure isn't terrific out here um i thought i'd have a little better pressure out here especially i'm showing about 24 pounds at the beginning which is plenty strong i i was a little bit concerned about that being that high but i was if i had really good pressure out here i'd back it off a little bit but i honestly i don't i'm gonna guess this is maybe 10 pounds um um if that um which is adequate just not great um i think it's just having to go up and over this knob my guess is my pressure is probably really good up to that knob and then after that it may be struggling um so not quite sure what i'm going to do about that yet i have to think about it um i don't know if when i run my permanent line if i need to run it out through the field further and split it um <clears throat> it's not a matter of water but it is a long ways to push it and that ele elevation change there's not really benefiting me for these last plants here so uh, i'm gonna run like this today but i'm gonna have to chew on that if i want to address that issue till we permanently run these lines here and maybe like in the next two weeks so anyway get this line tied up here and then uh they told me it's time to eat so i gotta run and grab some lunch before we get to the next one